Hi guys, how are you? Mine this one, Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Okay, patreon.com slash real macro. Okay, I want to do this video um, because, you know, you guys see me trash all the clowns, all the scam artists, all the con artists all the snake oil salesmen who are going to tell you this and they're going to tell you that and the recession is coming and do this and buy gold and the dollar is going to collapse and did, did, did. all those bear shitters who don't have a motherfucking clue as to what they're talking about and uh you're going to say yeah you know nick uh, you know what do you do what do you do nick uh, well you don't know what i do behind the scenes in uh at patreon.com slash real macro okay but i do on occasion um give you videos okay they're free you guys can see them and nobody 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 understood the importance <clears throat> of october 5th 2018 nobody saw it and believe me i was not going to post this chart to anybody because unfortunately i do have lurkers what is a lurker a lurker is some lurker is somebody who doesn't know what the fuck is going on they know that i'm good because they've been following me uh, paying the the subscription to follow me and then they go out and they reproduce what i say so that leaves me with a, a, a dilemma, right? That I can't really always say what's really going on. But for my subscribers' sake, I do give them the right direction um, as to what's going on. So, you know, I just don't give them the reason how I came up with it and so forth. Because to be honest with you, some of them, they're still coming along, okay? They still need to build a foundation and then we can keep adding up layers and they won't, you know. Uh, th there's a lot more to it to when you're teaching real macroeconomics and investing, right? I don't have a fucking PhD. I'm not an economist. I'm not uh, this and I'm not that. And I didn't work for Goldman Sachs and I didn't do any of these things. But what I did do, okay, is trade, 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 and trade. Practice, practice, practice in the real world. Not in a fantasy land, not on some theory. Okay. So, October 5th, 2018. Now, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to show you a video that I did October 3rd. Okay? It's time stamped. Anybody can go and see the time stamp on YouTube. And listen to what I said. Here is the video. Okay? Here's the date right there, October 3rd, 2018. This is when this video was published. 174 views only. Okay, 16 likes, two dislikes, two retards. <laughs> so uh, I'll shut off the mic now and you can listen to what I said. And tell me, tell me, how did that play out today? How is it playing out? Let's watch. Take a look at the dollar. The Mike dollar off. Up to 96. After the rate hike, we've been raising rates now since 2015. And as you can see, the dollar has not devalued. Um, again, you are wrong. You don't understand macroeconomics. You don't understand the monetary system. And you are wrong. Take a look at the Euro USD. As you can see, it has collapsed. It has gone from 120, 126. All the way all the way down to 114.81 right now that it's trading again you think this is a devaluation of the dollar you are smoking crack let's take a look at the 10-year you can see that back in 2004 2005 2006 much much higher okay you can see that back in 2010 it was much much higher and in 2011 and in 2013 so what is the what is the, the big deal about or about uh, interest rates being at 316 on the 10 year nothing absolutely nothing let's take a look at tbt and you can see that this is where they started to raise rates okay 
December 2015. What has TBD done? Nothing. It's lower. It's not higher. Anyone who bought TBT because the Fed is raising rates and it's inflationary for uh, uh, the dollar, that it's going to collapse, that interest rates are going to skyrocket, are still under water. It has been an unsophisticated, terrible thesis, and uh, three years later, you see the results, no? If you want to understand interest rates, you take a look at this chart, and you can see that worldwide, the real yield is still negative, with the exception of Russia, India, Brazil, and Turkey, okay? And even if you look at Turkey, where it says here 17.9, well, the inflation yesterday was 24.5. So that, that's been wiped out. Forget about this one. This is negative as well now. When you buy a bond, okay, here's the U.S. When you buy a bond, you want it to at least keep up with inflation. It's a safe haven, okay? That's the bare minimum that you want. So is it a big deal that interest rates are at 3.16%? No, absolutely not. Absolutely. In real terms, it means nothing. Saying that rates are going to go higher means what? That the economy is going to improve, that jobs are going to improve, that wages are going to improve. And we're going to talk about wages here in a minute, but that's what it means. So when you see that the interest rate went from 1.9 on the 10-year to 3.1, it's not a whole hell of a lot of huge gains or oh my god you know in three years it's nothing when you take a look at this chart this this is the chart that everybody likes to tell you oh you know rates are going to skyrocket oh, blah 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 all this stuff you're going to see one very important thing that every time that the, the fed raises rates over the long term what happens to the interest rates it goes lower and lower and lower so now we're raising them again just like we raised them here and you know what's going to happen is it's going to roll back over okay despite the fact that we have my gone despite the fact what did i tell you what did i tell you in this video it's going to roll back over it's going to go back down okay this is what i told you okay and if you noticed all the other things i've been telling you so far all, all every single one has worked out okay so let, let's continue my off and i think my mic is getting a little screwed up here Despite the fact that we're increasing deficits, <coughs> that we are <coughs> we are creating jobs like it's crazy. Today, ADP number was 230,000 jobs created. Okay, what happened to the fake MMT? Is oh, we need a job guarantee. What happened to that? Right? They're embarrassing. They are a disaster area. They don't even know what the hell is going on. And these people have PhDs in economics, and they can't even figure it out. Imagine, huh? So we have increasing deficits. We have rising oil, which is today, I think, 76, okay? That is a very big part of inflation. And if you look at the old data, what has been driving inflation is oil and transportation. You have record jobs. You have now Amazon coming out and saying, look, minimum wage, $15, okay? And, and let's talk about this whole wage thing. As I've told you in the past, production is always going to lead wage inflation okay that's the way it works nobody's going to give you a pay raise and then sit there and wait for production to increase it doesn't work like that it never has worked like that it doesn't even make I I logical sense let's move on we have quantitative easing that has ended okay and what are we doing now we are normalizing we are letting those bonds mature we have the world economy doing good and despite all of that, all of it, after three years of raising rates, we, the 10 years at 3.16%. So what? Here's the 10 years since 1980, even before that, 1976. And all you see is this big decline. And everybody's all excited about this little blip up. This means nothing. You want to start coming up like this, then we can start talking about inflation. Then we can start talking about, oh, wow, you know, look what's going on. But again, on the backdrop of what's going on in the economy, right? Increased deficits, near full employment, creating 230,000 jobs. Wages are starting to follow production and they're rising. Oil is rising. QE normalizing. And the 10-year 
in real terms is barely positive barely positive okay now I'm going to show you something else that's going to be uh, I'm going to laugh when this happens okay when you take a look at this chart and you say oh, the charts the lines yeah okay L let me tell you something about these lines when this finishes going up and it will and it will you see this wedge you see this wedge you know what's going to happen rates are going to drop my gone what did i just tell you what did i just tell i even showed you the the chart pattern i showed you exactly what was happening and i'm telling you that wage i mean uh, interest rates are going to drop they're going to drop where are they today 149 did I know it's going to be 149? No, I don't, have a fucking, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's going to happen. But I, I did know that this is probably the end. We're in the end of uh, interest rates rising, and they will start to fall. Okay. Let's continue. At some point, Mike the off. rates are going to drop. And when that happens, I want to hear the excuses then. And I want you to remember who told you this today. October 3rd, 2018. When it drops, I'm going to be laughing. Just like I have been laughing. So when people over -sensa sensationalize this stupid little move, which is meaningless, I want you to start thinking about what reality is. Okay? And that's why I'm here. I'm here to show you reality. Australian dollar versus the US dollar collapsing. New Zealand dollar, US dollar collapsing Great Britain pound US dollar collapsing Euro USD uh, collapsing Indian rupee US dollar collapsing my US god dollar, anybody want yen any soaring anybody want to tell me where those uh, forex pairs are today anybody I told you I told you I told you I told you a year ago almost I will be laughing when this happens. Laughing. Ha, 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 ha. I'm laughing. Okay? Because I'm not here to bullshit anybody. Okay? I'm not here to bullshit anybody. So, you know, this is, I mean, if this is not, <laughs> is not convincing you that, you know, there's PhDs that don't know what the fuck they're talking about and the theories are, like, ridiculous. They, they can't even figure out when they should be talking about job guarantee. And when they shouldn't, if they can't figure that out to sell their own bullshit, why would you listen to anything that they have to say about a prescription? Why? Why? They don't have a clue. Real vision. Look at this guy. Real vision. Recession crisis indication explored. I just did a video about that. The guy's a clown. The guy's a clown. Listen to the next now, next part right here. Listen to this. What 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 I say right here. Let's watch. My off. So I think you're starting to get the point. Okay. This is not something that I think or feel or have a vague hunch about. This is economic reality, the economic reality that I have been telling you for the past two plus years, that anybody that tells you. That the dollar is going to collapse. Go buy gold and silver. Blah blah blah. You want to? Let's take a look at gold and silver, because this is also uh, funny. Here's gold versus the U.S. dollar collapsing. Okay, so all those people that went out there and told you, oh yeah yeah yeah, uh, Fed is raising rates. Go buy gold and silver because it's inflationary. It's money printing. Wrong. Wrong. My gone. Let's pause on this one. Now, here is something that is extremely interesting, and I'll tell you why it's interesting. The dollar did not collapse. The dollar did not go down. In fact, even though the dollar has been going sideways now for God knows for, I don't know, about a year or whatever. Okay, you know what they're, the media is saying suddenly? Oh, the dollar is strong. The dollar is strengthening. The do what, what do you mean the dollar is strengthening? It's been exactly where it's been for last year and a half. But now suddenly the dollar is strong. Okay, fine. So why is gold going up? You know, initially when we started to uh, increase deficits back in 2008-9, where we went 10% um, uh, deficits to GDP, I can understand why people would buy gold. Okay, they thought QE was money printing and 
hyperinflation, whatever. They didn't know any better. Okay, I'm with you. They bought it. Why is it why is it up at uh, what 1500 now? Because of the exact opposite. There is 16 trillion dollars, okay, worldwide, that is in negative interest rates. Would you want to go put your money in something uh, a bond that you're going to have to pay the government? Or would you rather go buy gold, which you don't have to pay anything, right? This is why gold is going up. There's $55 trillion uh, in bonds worldwide. $30 trillion of those uh, dollars, uh, of those, yeah, 30, 30 trillion of those dollars cannot even meet inflation. $16 trillion of those dollars you have to pay interest on. I mean, do, do you understand? This is not something that could have been predicted. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of wild if you think about it. And, and why is this happening? Because of excessive deficits. The, 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 I'll, I'll keep telling you this until I'm blue in the face. I told you, excessive deficits equal uh, uh, savings for the top 5%. So they have all these savings. They're in the uh, asset classes, right? In, in investing, in speculation. And those dollars have to go somewhere. Money chases yield. So what happened when uh, uh, the, the, the market stopped going up? The money flowed out of markets. In December, we had that big drop the, the, out, of, out of stocks. Money flowed out of stocks. And when, where? It went into bonds. It went. There's so much money that went into bonds that he pushed interest rates to negative territory. Okay. And now it's like, okay, do I want to go buy a bond and pay the government or, you know, should I go buy some gold, right? And, and then, believe me, they're not putting a whole shitload of money in gold. It's, it's not, you know, but they're saying, hey, I can get some price appreciation with, I don't know, 5% of my money. Let, let me go dump some money in gold where I don't have to pay interest on it. I'll get a little price, price appreciation, you know, make a couple bucks. So it's actually the, the, the negative rates that are driving gold up now. <laughs> not inflation, it's deflation. Not in the U.S., but you, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. That's an interesting, uh, you know, twist. Not something I, I, I would have uh, predicted, but uh, hey, you know, we're learning. We're learning because this is the real world, okay? This is not MMT and, uh, you know, Austrian economics and uh, bullshit. This is real world stuff that I'm telling you here. Let's continue. Wrong. My golf. Wrong. Here's silver, collapsing. So here is the NASDAQ. Okay, and we're going to go back all the way to 2009. Okay, and all you heard was just negativity, uh, double dip recession, you know, too much money printing, Dow 6000, blah, 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 all this bullshit. Okay, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Great unwindings, blow off tops, it's rolling over. Da, 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 da. The, the Trump rally's over. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay? It's very simple to see. Uh, I have been telling you for a very long time that you can listen to these scam artists. The only people that are going to tell you what pure MMT is, is us. IMMT and pure MMT for the 100%. We always seem to get it right, don't we? Well, there's a reason behind that. It's called knowledge. It's called understanding. My gone. There you There you go. There you go. And I'm going to tell you now that where we are right now. My golf. NDX, SPX, right in here. There's going to be some kind of a correction. When? I'm not sure, but it's coming. Okay? Does that mean that the... The whole thing, it's all over, that's it, we're going to start crashing? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means a correction will come at some point. And if you guys start saying, oh, see, look, uh, I'm right, yeah. <laughs> You're right from where? From all the way up here and having a little correction? That's going to be your whole right for 10 years? So you guys want to go pay $200 or $4,000 a year from Real Vision or Mike Norman or... Go listen to this, uh, what is it, Seeking Alpha, this uh, Alan Long bonehead who's telling you, yeah, Turkey needs to, to, to print more. Yeah, they've got to stay off recession. Okay, 
You want to go listen to those guys? Go ahead. Go ahead. And you'll always be wrong. So you see, right? Not a single thing that I got wrong. Just the way it is, guys. It's Again, it's knowledge. It's understanding. Okay? Did I know what the future because I have some kind of crystal ball? I don't know what the future is. Maybe a nuclear bomb went off. Who the fuck knows? I, I don't know. But I can tell you, okay, risk reward, likely what's going on in the present time and what's likely going to continue to happen uh, if everything is, is fairly normalized, right? And I got it all right. And guess what? Real blurry vision over here. This This crazy guy. Goldman Sachs, little golden boy, right? Recession crisis indicator explored. I mean, it's like clockwork with these people, you know? It, it was the same thing all the way back here, 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 the whole time. Ah, uh, recession, recession, recession. And now we're here. We get, Did we get the correction? You bet your ass we got the correction. And that's exactly where we are now, right? We're doing this stuff, right? Sideways market. Why? Because I told you that interest rates are going to drop and just to remind you this was october 3rd and what happened on october 5th two days later two days later the most important day right in here boom 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 yeah i can't help you if you guys don't want to help yourselves i really can't but uh i can tell you what reality is okay i don't have no phd I don't, I'm not an economist, I <laughs> I'm a trader, okay, I'm, I'm a real world trader, so if I cannot point it to you and show it to you why it's the way it is, then you should not be listening to me, and uh, you guys don't remember this video from a year ago, okay, you don't remember uh, what I was saying, what I was doing, and by the way, I was short oil up here above 75, okay, where did oil go? All right, boom, got that right too. So anyway, uh, patreon.com slash real macro, come down and uh, subscribe and, and you guys will learn how I do things and what economic reality is. Uh, conversely, go listen to MMT, Mosler and real retards and uh, real blurry vision and Mike Norman. Go listen to them, go. Go. Go look at the CNBC and uh, Bloomberg. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.